Meet Robert Rauschenberg, American painter, sculptor, and graphic artist. He's best known for his combines. These are artworks made from combining different objects, materials, and art processes. If you look at the following artwork, notice the types of things that Robert Rauschenberg used in his combine sculptures. Feel free to pause the video to take a better look. So what types of things did you see in Robert Rauschenberg's combine sculptures? Here's a list of things that I saw. Did you see some of the same things? Maybe you saw some things I didn't. It's time to get ready to build your own combine. Gather some recyclables, wash them out, and collect scissors, glue, and tape. Some things to consider when preparing your materials. Have a station set up for your hot glue gun, if you'll be using one. Break down boxes to make them easier to cut, and cut some of the larger objects into smaller parts to be used in your sculpture. I'm going to be giving you some tips for attaching pieces together. Before we do that, though, a quick note about using a hot glue gun. If you have one at home, please make sure that you get permission from an adult in your house before using it and make sure that they can be near in case you need help with it. Um, the tips of the guns can be very, very hot. This one's not plugged in. Okay, so it's not on right now, but when they are plugged in, they get extremely hot. So please do not touch them. Um, and also make sure that you have something to place it on uh, when you're not using it so that it doesn't rip onto the table. Um, I have a paper plate, but even just a piece of paper will do. If you're going to be um, gluing two flat pieces of cardboard or paper together like these, or if you have a flat piece and you want to glue it flat onto a larger um, box, regular glue works for that. Um, glue stick is really great for that too, or you can just tape it right on flat like that. Um, if you want the cardboard to stick up and stand out a little bit and stand kind of vertical like this, you would want to fold by the edge that you're going to stick and make a little foot. And with that, you can glue. I would use liquid glue for this, or you can also cut a piece of tape and tape that on to your box so that it stands up like this. If you're using a round piece of cardboard, like a toilet paper roll like this, there are a few ways that you can adhere this to your sculpture. So one would be using either hot glue or liquid glue and place that glue right on the edge of your tube and then glue that down. Hot glue is best also if you're going to be gluing something to the side and you want it to stick out like this. You can also use liquid glue right around the edge, trace the edge of it, and then stick that right on there if it's going to be standing upright. The other thing you can do is cut little slits all the way around and then we're going to fold these to create small feet that go all the way around. When we do this, kind of like a flower, um, this is called a flange when we create um, a base that goes all the way around like that. And this can also be, you can use liquid glue or hot glue, can be glued on. You can also cut small pieces of tape um, and tape that on as well. If you're going to be using plastic pieces, um, liquid glue or a glue stick is not going to work for this. Your best bet is going to be hot glue gun or tape. So if I'm going to tape this yogurt container onto my box, I'm going to cut myself a piece of tape here if you have any kind of tape um, works. And then I want some of that tape to go onto my base and then some of that can go onto my plastic like that. And I would do that in at least two places, one on this side and then turn it and one on another side. Um, now let's suppose that you don't have tape and you don't have glue. You can still build with cardboard. Um, so I have two pieces of cardboard here and I want to make them stand up. 
Um, so I am going to cut slits into them. I don't want my slits to go all the way through. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a deep slit into both pieces and I can put the slits into each other like that and I have a piece that can stand. Um, I also have the option of sliding it down and I've created kind of a, a different shape piece as well. And I can keep adding pieces to this if I want to, to build up a larger sculpture. I wanted to add a piece there. Um, and I can do that, I can add on, maybe I want to add a round piece to it as well. Um, and I can even add, put a slit and add that onto a plastic piece and build that way. Will your sculpture be abstract or look like something realistic? Will it be decorative or functional? If it's functional, what will you use it for? When you're finished drawing and all of the glue is dry, embellish your work with color. Paint or draw on it. I can't wait to see what you're creating. Happy building.